वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फोर डैश ट्वेंटी सिक्स दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्राम चैप्टर नंबर फोर एक्जियल लोड एंड द बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाई आर सी हिबलर सो स्टेटमेंट इज डिटरमाइन द एलॉन्गेशन ऑफ टेपर्ड ए नाइन नाइन टू स्टील शॉफ्ट वेन इट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू एन एक्जियल फोर्स ऑफ एटी एटीन केप्स हैंड इज यूज द रिजल्ट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम फोर डैश ट्वेंटी थ्री सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द शॉफ्ट दैट इज टेपर्ड clear over a length of 4 inch and then 20 inch that is uniform diameter and then at at the end there is a tapered portion that is acted upon by axial load of 18 kips at this point r1 is 0.5 and this r2 which is given as 2 inch okay so we have to find the total elongation due to this load so first we will write given data so it is given that this is tapered a992 steel clear the load axial load p is given as 18 kips clear for tapered portion tapered portion we have r1 is equal to 0.5 inch and R2 is 2 inch. The tapered length L1 is taken as 4 inch, and for uniform rod, for uniform rod portion, its length is equal to L2, and that is taken as 20 inch, and diameter is equal to 1 inch. r radius is equal to 0.5 inch okay so what we have to find is we have to find determine elongation and that elongation is not known hint is given as use result of problem 4-23 so let's start with the solution now you can see you have one this tapered portion and one this and one is uniform rod and there is a tensile load so from problem 4-23 which we have solved previously you can see this is the solution i will attach the link as well so from here this is the tapered portion that is acted upon by tensile load or axial load so deformation in this tapered portion is given by this formula pl divided by pi into e r1 into r2 so this is for tapered portion only so we will just write this formula over here clear so this elongation delta is equal to p into l divided by pi into e into r2 into r1 that is for tapered portion since we can see that we have two tapered portion and one is this uniform diameter so total elongation or elongation in this rod will be equal to elongation in this portion plus elongation in this portion plus elongation in this portion so for tapered part it will be p into l1 divided by pi e into r2 into r1 plus another tapered portion p into l1 divided by pi into e r2 into r1 plus elongation in this uniform rod which is given by formula p into l2 divided by a into e so from here you can see you have two times p into l1 divided by pi into e r2 into r1 plus p l2 divided by a into e okay so a can be obtained you know that area of circular rod is pi r square clear so you can put the value pi multiply by r is 0.5 clear 
r is not 0 0.5 r is actually 2 2 this is this diameter also correct it this diameter is 4 and this r is 2 because you can see this is the diameter radius so diameter is uh, diameter is 4 so pi r square so i will write pi into r is 2 so it will be pi into 2 square now you can put it in the formula so you will get uh, this elongation total elongation will be equal to 2 multiplied by p is given as 18 ksi so 18 we will not change ksi into 10 to power 3 we will left it into length l which is tapered length l1 is you can see 4 inch divide by pi e is not known so from property table you will go to the book and you will go to the property table let me show you at the end of book you will go to the property table so you can see that this is the property table and that is in si so we will move toward us customary and here you can see a992 having value 29 into 10 to the power 3 ksi so you will write it e value is 29 into 10 to the power 3 ksi ksi is also above with 18 and multiply by r2 r2 is 0. Point, r2 is 2 into r1 is 0. 0.5 plus p which is 18 into length of uniform rod which is 20 it's 20 divided by area which is pi into 2 square into e and that e is 29 into 10 to the power 3 ksi so when you solve this you will get this elongation will comes out to be 0 0.00257 inch and that is the answer of this question so due to this tensile loading uh, a total elongation in this tapered a992 steel comes out to be 0 0.00257 and that was all about this problem 4-26 i hope you have enjoyed this video those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching